Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the sensing blocks in Scratch. So we've got Scratch Cat here, and we are going to be testing these out on it. Uh, so first of all, we're going to use the uh, touching mouse pointer. Okay, let's go to events. Uh, okay, let's go to when uh, space key pressed if touching something that you can just do the drop down menu if touching mouse pointer then say uh, then ask which we're going to use two of them in this one ask what's your name and wait and uh, now i'm going to ask uh let me think uh, i'm going to ask do you like cheese cakes oh i spelled it wrong not the actual me and i don't yeah i like cheesecakes but uh basically yes yay cool uh so now we are going to be doing the uh Whatever, what is it called? Uh, the key sp face pressed. Uh, so if we go up to here, if key sprint, if key space pressed, this is basically if th it's basically this block. It's basically this block, but you can use it in any part of the uh, thingy, and you can add another one onto it if you want. Uh, so yeah. So basically, when this clicked. Uh, forever now sensing is really useful if you want to figure out what's going to happen so if key space pressed and mouse down uh, we're going to talk about that in a second actually um basically so uh, if key space pressed then I'm gonna change y by 10 and then change y by minus 10 also i found a use for the wait one second block uh we can do this there okay that's pretty cool now instead of doing that i'm gonna do 20 because that's not high enough jump Now, in fact, I'm going to use a repeat loop. Repeat by uh, 20. Repeat by 20. Change y by. Yeah, repeat by 10. Change y by 2. And then I'm going to take another one of these. Yeah, bye bye. And then I'm going to. Oh, no, we don't want to do that. And then go in there. Repeat by 10. Change y by minus 2. So we have a little jump. I'm going to do 0.1 seconds, which is nice and fast. So, yeah. I guess that's it. Uh, now we're going to go to uh, mouse X and mouse Y. I got those the other way around. And I'm going to do variables next as well. So, yeah. So, basically... I can't really do anything with, with with these without variables, so I'm gonna leave these for next episode. Well, I think that'll be it, but we do have a few of these left. Uh, most of them are self-explanatory, so I'll just leave you to it. So basically, touching color, color something is touching color something. So yeah, I think that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.